Hello everybody, it's Nim and welcome back to my channel. I'm coming to you in this week of Christmas, spreading Christmas joy and Christmas happiness and all that stuff because, you know, it's almost Christmas and that is a happy occasion. So today we are building a Christmas themed roller coaster in Planet Coaster. And I can't tell you enough how much time it took me to actually build this coaster. I have cut all of that out, otherwise that video would be extremely long. I originally didn't even start off with a wooden coaster. I started off with a launch coaster, I believe. I don't even recall the name of the coaster because I've not been playing Planet Coaster for that long. I just didn't work out. Like the G-forces were way too strong and people were so afraid of getting on that coaster. And I was like, well, if I saw this coaster in real life, I would go on it so I don't see the problem. So um, I ended up switching to a wooden coaster um, just because it seems a little bit easier because you can't make loopings and all crook screws and all that sort of stuff. So it was just a lot of banking. I believe I used that term correctly. And otherwise I didn't, I'm sorry. So here we are just uh, creating the coaster and laying out pathways. And now what I really have to remember is that with every piece of track that you lay down, you had to like adjust the angle of the steepness of the actual track. And that was so difficult. So, so, so difficult. But we managed in the end. And here you can see me trying to get it together to the actual coaster station. And didn't work out the way I wanted to. So, um, in the end, we just end up with four chain lifts. Because otherwise I couldn't get it there. It just, it wouldn't work. I know that's fine as well. Because at least, um, you know, we got an amazing coaster. Which is extremely long. And I say extremely long, um, it ended up being actually not that long. I see a lot of people, like I've, I've been watching a lot of Planet Coaster videos on uh, team theming your uh, rides and not basically creating rides because those videos are really long and I just want to see amazing ideas of people. So I've been watching a lot of Channel 5 uh, gaming and especially the park spotlight and recently I am binge watching the mini park contest. I mean love it and it gets me a lot of inspiration and a lot of ideas for rides that i can do but i still find it very tricky to actually build them so i should probably search up a tutorial after i've done this voiceover for my next ride and obviously the next video we are gonna go back to the neverworld park but for now we are just doing a christmas roller coaster same with the brakes and all i don't know how it works we'll we'll see i really have no clue but we'll we'll see also, I do know that I have to smooth everything. So we are smoothing the entire coaster out. And then when we actually did the testing, it turns out that one of the G-forces was a bit high. And when I say a bit, I mean very. It was extremely high. So like we are smoothing out that corner. I believe we are doing that in a minute. I believe I let that in the video. And now we are creating this awesome queue. Well, so once, you know, like you guys can watch me doing this. And I got the idea of actually going under the wooden coaster by some of the theme parks that I have been to. Recently, well, I say recently, last summer, um, I went to uh, Europa Park, which is in Germany. And um, the wooden coaster there, basically the entire queue goes under the coaster. And it's really amazing. So I wanted to incorporate that in here as well. And naturally, this is going to be a Christmas themed uh, coaster because it's almost Christmas, like two more days and it's Christmas. Depending on the country you're in and when you're celebrating it, I mean like for the Netherlands it is the 25th and the 26th. Because we have two days of Christmas. Which I love because I love Christmas, like my favorite holiday. So for this coaster we are going to create a Christmas coaster as well. Now we are going to create Santa's sleigh ride. And the wooden coaster will be Santa's sleigh and we will be riding through the sky uh, uh, like... Passing all the houses and then going back into the station again. So we're going lots of ups and downs because you know the sleigh of Santa goes up in the sky, then it goes down, and it's a little bit wibbly wobbly, you know, stuff like that. But first, we are going to create mountains just because I wanted mountains there because I love mountains and I love landscaping. It's one of my favorite things. But naturally, I um, like accidentally covered all the uh, the tracks so we are carving out the tracks again and actually we got this amazing like round tunnel with some uh, viewing points on the sides which actually looks quite good and we're actually going to keep it like that and here we are going to create a little lake um, in a minute but first we're making sure that the track is visible everywhere same as the queue 
because that got kind of buried and uh, you know that's not really the point that's not really necessary you don't want to bury the track i mean with some coasters you can i guess but with the wooden coaster i didn't want that because i still wanted that roller coaster idea so we're not going for this big exploration thing we're just making a coaster that is themed and i feel like i actually did quite good and i'm gonna keep saying that but i'm really really proud of it like really proud and i don't want to spoil too much of everything that's coming but it's it's gonna be amazing obviously in the end of the video there uh, will be a ride on our coaster and it will be in day and night i believe we have day first and then we're gonna have night so um if you are just here to ride a coaster that's fine as well there's a timestamp, you can click on that and uh if you uh would like to you can also watch me actually building the entire coaster because you know getting my views up on youtube and getting people to find my channel is what i would really like so we can build this amazing large community oh yeah so right now we are just smoothing out everything which is you know kind of necessary because otherwise it looks a little bit ugly oh yeah before i forget um when we actually ride the coaster, it's going to look a little bit different because I forgot to press record when I was doing the final touches. So um, I am um, you don't see me terrain painting and some small adjustments to the coaster. I accidentally didn't record that because I'm a very smart person, apparently. And I thought I pressed record and apparently I didn't. So, yeah, that's kind of stupid of me, but it is what it is. So if you are here and you like enjoying uh, Christmas themed uh, videos. I have a Christmas themed build of The Sims 4 on my channel as well this week and on Friday there will be a Christmas themed habitat in Planet Zoo so do stay tuned for that like if you want to get notified of that make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel hit that bell icon so you get notified when those video comes out and you know uh, while you're down there leave a comment leave a like let's make sure this video goes up in the YouTube algorithm and a lot of people actually get to watch it that will be amazing so we can create an entire large community ourselves and that's basically my goal i want to make this sounds really cliche but i want to make people happy it just i want them to watch my videos and feel happy <laughs> that sounds really weird but it, that's really my goal oh yeah here we are creating this little lake and we're actually going to build a, a gingerbread bread house on top of it and i'm really proud of that gingerbread house it is on the workshop same as this coaster so if you are interested in that, there is also a uh, link to the Steam uh, workshop in the description down below. So you can download this for yourself and put it in one of your parks or look at it really closely if you want a gingerbread how it is on there as well. So you can you know use that in your builds if you'd like to. If I say so myself, it is pretty well detailed. Obviously, I'm but a beginner in Planet Zoo. I have how many hours do I have in this game? I think I have like. 12 hours in this game at the moment and just in, just for comparison i have over 1200 hours in the sims and i have um 200 hours in planet zoo and here i am creating these things pretending i'm awesome at planet coaster well we all know that i'm secretly not that good at it but i'd like to pretend because it makes me feel good about myself <laughs> and who knows maybe you actually like it and think it's good that's gonna happen as well and then i really I, I love you thank you so much oh yeah right here um so what i was doing here i was listening to the uh harry potter soundtrack of the part four of the june ball and i got totally inspired by the way in that the book describes it i was like oh yeah i'm gonna make some of those pillars like connecting and intertwining i just i don't know why but listening to harry potter i got inspired to build this really weird but i just you know th that's the truth i can't make anything of it and i actually really like it it looks really fantasy like especially in the end because we are going to um make it really icy i mean like we have the when you're in the alpine biome in planet coast you have like different sort of terrain of terrain paints and we are actually going to create um a sort of icy feeling because you have a terrain pit that is basically snow and ice. And when I saw it, I immediately thought Elsa from Frozen. I was like, yes, it's totally an Elsa uh, paint. But I also figured, you know what? This would be perfect for everything like surrounded by water because that would be frozen over. You know, it's really realistic, at least in my mind. So 
here we are making our gingerbread house and I'm actually really proud of the way that it turns out. And that sounds really strange because it's probably not even that good. And it took me quite a while because I was figuring out the roof and I didn't know what I wanted to do. And I still have the feeling that sometimes you are missing certain roof elements in Planet Coaster. But that could just be me. And sometimes the grid, um, it doesn't work the way that I want it to work. But you know what? That's life and just gotta deal with it and that's completely fine. And I actually found these frosting icicles. I was like, oh yeah, man, this is so cute. This is like darn amazing. I'm, I need this. So we are now just decorating this entire gingerbread house. And um, just so you know, I left it in because I wanted you guys to see how amazing this was. Because I'm really proud of it and it looks so darn cute. It's been like with all the frosting on there and then like the icicle frosting just hanging there. Man, I love it. I love it so much. Like this is the gingerbread house that I would actually buy because I actually don't like gingerbread. And I know that sounds really weird and I know that a lot of people love gingerbread. Um, I don't. I don't like the taste, but then again, I don't really love the taste of a lot of sweet things. Basically, I like crisps. And that's it. I don't even really like chocolate. I mean, if, if, if someone offers me chocolate, I'll eat it, but it's not because I, I'd like it that much. It's just because I'm being polite and someone offered it to me. Uh, <laughs> where is this conversation going? And also with a lot of frosting things, I'm, I'm allergic to the coloring thing that they put in there. So, you know, I'm probably going to have an allergic reaction. So it better be really good if I eat something that's really sweet. But oh well, that's not the point of this video. And it's also really not the point I was going to make. But I don't remember the point that I was going to make. So you know what? Um... It is what it is. So here's our gingerbread house completed. We've got some poor windows in there. It's done. It's on the workshop. So if you want it, um, again, link in the description. You can download it there. There is a link to my other socials there as well. So if you want to, you can download those as well. Or download, you can go check those out. And we are going to continue the video now. So here we are landscaping. And if you've watched any of my other videos of this channel, um, good job. And if you haven't, well, go do that after you watch this one. Um, you know that I'm a freak for landscaping. I love landscaping. It's like what I live for. It's what I'm really good at as well. And in Planet Coaster, I'm still getting used to it. But again, I'm, I'm relatively good at it. Yeah, even if I say so myself. Ah, yeah, the presents. So since it's a Santa sleigh ride, I was like, you know what? Uh, Santa brings obviously presents. So we are going to need some presents. So I built some presents with the basic shapes. They're probably on the workshop, but you know, um, I want to do everything myself because I'm like that. And we are just placing the presents. We are going to recolor them though, because you know, uh, only red and green isn't really a presenty color. And we have big presents and tall presents. And I actually really love the way that it looks. I feel like it looks really comfy. Like we're not doing like an extended deed of presents, just a couple. Because otherwise it would be way, way, way too much and you don't want that. I mean, like, that's just basic analogy. You don't want an awful lot of the same thing. Because that gets boring, right? And maybe I, if I look at the theme parks that I went to, and those are quite a lot when I was a kid. Like, uh, my parents love theme parks. Well, like my mom. My mom loved theme parks. My dad doesn't really that much. I love theme parks as well. Like, I live for theme parks. But obviously, right now, you can't go to them because they're all closed. But once they're open again, I'm going. And what I've noticed in, in theme parks and in rides that they have a lot of um, different settings during one coaster, but it's all like the same theme. So oh, that's very obviously why did I point it out? You all know that already. So that's what I wanted to do for this coaster as well. Like I wanted presents, but I didn't want to go over the top with them. So there are just a couple, like with every home, there are like a couple of presents. There are a lot of trees. And there's a lot of, you know, landscaping because I love landscaping. There's going to be a lot of rock work involved as well, but you will see that in a minute. We're actually going to first create some of the rocks and then copy and paste them everywhere. Thank goodness for the copy and pasting thing, because otherwise, oh my gosh, this would have taken me so long. And like, it did take me quite long because I cut out like a lot of things. I mean, like getting the first coaster, like when I first started this, I didn't even have a wooden coaster. I was working on a launch coaster and I tried it like three or four times and it was every time the G4s were way too high. So that took me about 
An hour before I finally switched to a wooden coaster, then I had to do the wooden coaster three times because it didn't work. So it was like an hour and 40 minutes of just trying to get a coaster. And then when I finally had the coaster, I had to do theming. So huh. all, all in all, I think this video took me like almost five hours of my of my day. Like what the heck, that's, that's way too much. But then again, I am just a beginner at this game. I will probably get way better as time goes on. So I'm not really worried about that. I mean, when I first started playing The Sims, it took me so freaking long to build something. Same with Planet Zoo, because Planet Zoo has so many more options than The Sims. And I got so confused by them. My first and ever built in Planet Zoo, man, I think I... Or my, like, dignified, worthy build. I think it took me, like, almost four or five hours, maybe even longer. It was so ridiculous. But you know what? Now I'm getting the hang of it and I'm getting faster at building, getting better at building. So it is quite good. Can we just appreciate all these different trees that I'm placing? I mean, look how long this must have took me. I mean, like, I know it took me very long, but look at it. And they're spread out very naturally, like you would ha in uh, actual real life. Ah, oh, yeah, so here we are building our little rock work. And once this is actually done, we are going to group it together and... Um, copy and paste that all over and we are working with three different kinds of rocks we are working with the normal alpine rocks the snowy rocks and the ice rocks and actually that combination works really well together and i'm actually really proud of it now unfortunately i i really wanted to like uh connect the surface but apparently that doesn't exist in planet a coaster or I, I click something wrong and it's not there that's that's probably what it's like. I probably did something wrong. So we had to manually turn all the rocks, which is kind of annoying. And it takes a lot more time. But again, it's fine. Doesn't matter. Oh yeah, and I was checking how many uh, pieces it, it were. So if you do want to download this, um, it's in a park file because it is way over 4k pieces. I believe this is around 8k. So yeah. Minimum, at least, because of all the rock work and all the landscaping. Um, I'm not sorry for that. I mean, because it looks really amazing and it's actually... I'm really proud of it. It looks so good. Obviously, the inside of the tower of the tunnel is going to be uh, different as well. But you will see all of that in the right. Because I'm like, I'm making excuses of everything that's not perfect right now. But once you are actually on the right, you will see that it actually looks really good. I mean, for the second coaster that I've ever built... I feel like I did quite good. I mean, the first one watched the, was the Witch Flight, which is actually, I'm really proud of that. If you haven't watched that, um, the play playlist will be linked at the end of this video, so you can watch that. And hopefully you will, because, you know, I'm really proud of it, and I'd like you guys to see it. And um, if you're not, if you're like, oh, this is ugly, well, I'm, I'm sorry you feel that way. I quite like it, but, you know, if you don't like it, you know, that's fine as well. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion, even though um, that opinion could be wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was rude. That was very rude, sorry. Ah, yeah, so here we are doing the boarding station. As you see, guests are already arriving because I wanted to know what they feel. Um, so the, the boarding station is a gingerbread house as well. It is also, uh, well, I wouldn't say heavily detailed, but it is kind of detailed. And I'm actually quite proud of it. And again, we are working with uh, the frosting in the end. I believe, yeah, there we are. Placing it all around. And instead of doing it manually on both sides, I decided just to copy and paste this one to the other side. Because, you know, that's way easier and way more logical. Otherwise, it's taking me a lot, a lot of time. See, I'm learning slow, but I'm learning. And I feel like that's important. As long as I'm improving, it is all fine. We are going to add some tiny frostings on the ceiling as well. I believe we are going to add the little stars. Look, it's so cute. Anywho, we are closely going into the cinematic of the coaster. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys stick around. And if you really, really, really enjoyed it, I hope you subscribe to the channel. So I wish you a very good day and I will hope to see you guys on the other videos. <laughs> Bye, guys.